hazard on. Whatever that means. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. Um, happy Monday. Hope your Monday isn't being a Monday on you. Ours is going pretty smooth. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. So to speak. Got Chris and Ben. <laughs> yep, mm -hmm. the hazard sits in the back seat. On my way to get a root beer, and then we have a return to do at Meyer. And uh, I don't know if I've got anything else I need to do or not. You could always spoil me. You're already spoiled. I'm not spoiled enough, Mom. Spoil me more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, but yeah, I know. Anyway, it's a beautiful sunny afternoon. It's a little cool, but it's still really pretty. Yeah. Just out doing our running around. So let Chris tell about his day program today. So we did good and we were going through candidates for small businesses for when we could go to stores again. And the sucky part is I told him I'd get info as soon as possible for one of them, but we're probably not going today to find that out. Rebel. Now I was gonna go ask Tom the biggest wheelchair his door can take. That would help decide if Gameplay Limited would be a good stop or if we'd have to go to PAL to a stop that's too small for the vans, to be frank. What about Rebel, though? Its door's too tiny to determine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rebel's going to be nice when he can do guys' days again, huh? Yep. So Gameplay Limited would be a good alternative if I could get how big a wheelchair you can get. Yeah. Yep. But I have to physically go in the store for that because I don't think I can call about that. <gasps> Set up my They're bag. gone! What are? Big Watts is gone from that location I, I zoomed in. last week. Yeah. I know, but I just wanted to be, dramatic. be a little bit dramatic about it. Oh no, that's what I get for saying there's no line. There's a line. And she, poo. and she has to take the line. I hope they have root beer today. Watch them not. Well, they might. Our surprise we were talking about hasn't happened yet, so I don't have an update on that. But. Oh. So we're waiting on the surprise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it is all you know. It's all I know. Well, I'll be waiting in the mail if it's what I think. Nope. Don't give too much away. Just hush you. <laughs> Jessica isn't even allowed to guess at it. But I know I guessed wrong at least. Anyway. So let's see, we did some shopping this weekend. We took John around and got him a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. Wise. Like four pieces from one store. Three. Well, actually, tables, three pieces. Oh, you're pieces. right. Duh, I'm a dumbass. You're we right. got him one piece from the Goodwill. You set that up, buddy. So we got him. Hi, what can I get for you today? Hi, large root beer, please. Anything else? No, thank you. So I got oh, it. What? Four pieces. That's yeah. the rocking. Yeah, it's four yeah, pieces. Yeah, it's four pieces. So we got right. five pieces of furniture all in total. So we go to the Goodwill and we buy a end table. And I have to go back and get it after I drop him off because the car's too full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go back to pick it up and they can't find it. They look and look and look and look and can't find it. So finally the guy says, well, come and help me look for it. Because I don't know what I'm looking for. So I go in the store and we go through both sides. We go to all the cash registers. We go to the atrium. We go to the furniture department area. We're on our way back through the back of the store. Because we were, we I went in through the back. That's where you pick stuff up. So... I had to go through that area where the uh, 
stuff is taken in. Yeah, and sorted and stuff. On my way back through there, and there sits the table behind a bin of clothes. If those clothes hadn't been there, we would have seen it right away, but it wasn't marked correctly. So I went ahead and got it and had him put it in the car, but I was afraid that it was the wrong table. But John said it was the right table, so it worked out. Mm -hmm. but, oh my gosh, I walked all over that store super fast because he was a really fast walker. I was so tired. Oh my goodness. And it didn't dawn on me, but when he'll say, what should I do? You know, as I have to, to just say. What? Well, you bossed the table, just load up that TV I was looking at earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was half up to say, just recompensate me in that TV. Listen at him over there. Yeah, not happening. That's why I kept my mouth shut. Because by the time that happened, someone pulled in front behind us. I was getting agitated, and I didn't want to take him off. He was the only one working in the back, and there was a line of cars wanting to drop stuff off. And I said, what kind of dumbass only schedules one person for a Saturday afternoon? Yeah. Someone with no head. Oh my gosh, it's got to be like they're busy, one of their busiest days and times. Yeah. And they only scheduled that one guy for the back? Yeah. That is bad. So bad, in fact. That I'm surprised that nobody's filed a complaint with Goodwill about it. About there only being one person running the back. I don't know. And while mom was in the back, I tried to get Ben to come out of the car. I didn't tell mom this either, because uh, I didn't want to worry her, but... One of the cars behind us, a truck with some people who did not speak English. Or they weren't after it happened. They were... <sighs> They decide to unload and put everything in the carts themselves and just go off. And uh, they're such in a hurry, they dropped a box from the Walmart and shattered everything inside it. Well, that would suck. And they were cursing and Latin and stuff and looking at the car. And I thought they were going to, like, when they were done, ram us or something. No, I've got a root beer. Is that large root beer? Yeah. What are they Just drop the pennies in. All right. So I tried to discreetly, while they were still in the car, try to get Ben to unload because if they did ram the car, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, he would have flew through the windshield. And, I mean, it was that bad. I was just trying to get Ben out of the car, but he put a seatbelt on, so yeah, it was bad. I was doing something mom asked me to do. Yeah, I mm. told him to keep an eye on my purse. Mm. Oh, we forgot to ask John how his chicken sandwich was. We did, we did. We did oh, crispy chicken? Yeah. And thankfully, to mom came out when she did. We were able to drive before they drove off. But, yeah, that was the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah, you know, I'm sure that was horrible. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not like you're going to be able to get to the car and just put it in the car. It looked like a white fixture you hang on the ceiling that was in that box, but I wasn't paying attention. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Were they trying to drop that box off or no? Thank you. It was a new box, so I think they bought it for themselves and they got so agitated in their hurry they broke it. And I was positive when they were done, they got done before we left, they were going to ram the car. They should have got a sandwich or something. I'm hungry. If that happened, I would discreetly took a picture of a license plate. Right, Mom? Right. Oh, got beef noodles in the crock pot for mm -hmm. dinner tonight. Well, the beef, she hasn't yet started the noodles, but the beef is intended for beef and noodles. Gotta love noodles. People are going, what the hell's a noodle? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just replace the D in noodles with a G and you get noodle. Because we're weird like that. We are weird. So what else is going on? What else is going on? Well, tomorrow I'm going to Comic Town. That'll be fun. Yep. I spoiled myself. I spent so much money at Meyer, it wasn't funny. Um, the dog where he jumps on and off the beds, you have to have a throw rug so he doesn't slide on the 
wood floors. So I had a little one. It was really too small and he was always falling off of it. And mom's was getting so old and ratty. So we picked up two throw rugs this weekend and they were $30 a piece. Can you believe it? But um, that happened. And then I got new tennis shoes new socks, new underwear, and I think that was about, oh, and we got a package of forks, because our for forks are going missing, just don't ask, and John was so funny, oh my gosh, I'm still laughing at him, I, I said, I have to pick up a package of forks, and he said, <laughs> he said, forks, what are you going to do with those, I said, we're going to eat with them, what the hell do you think we were going to do with them, <laughs> do you stick them in the room? And he didn't think it was funny, but me and the kids were dying laughing. Yep. And I told them, I said, if I had said that to somebody else, he would be rolling on the floor. But it was just so funny the way he asked what we were going to do with forks. Duh. I'm dying. It was really funny, though. It really was. So that happened. And that was our big weekend budget buster, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yep. The only it. sucky part about today is I was not able to use my phone in the van. Why? Because I can only answer text messages and stuff that are urgent. Uh -huh. I cannot text the keyword just double our stimulus stuff. Oh, bother. That would There's a cool. contest going on where if you text and they call you back, you get fourteen hundred dollars go for fourteen hundred dollar check. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. We also bought a secondhand vacuum at the Goodwill. I forgot to mention. What brand is it again? You say, Ben. You know. Oh, I'm trying to get you to say. It's I know. Hoover. Fun fact: that brand, Hoover, is actually so synonymous with vacuum cleaners that they actually refer to them as Hoovers regardless of the brand over in Britain. So we're going to Hoover the rug now. And that's one useless fact you can basically shove into the back of your skull cap. I don't know if you guys watch Are You Being Served, but there's this scene where um, Mr. Harmon is vacuuming the steps and Captain Peacock, I think, says, Mr. Harmon, what are you doing? He says, I'm hoovering up the steps. If Goblin, that's due to the fact that Hoover was the first on the market. If Goblin had been first on the market, I'd be Goblin up the dust. <laughs> oh, like, Lordy. I love that show. And basically, Hoover is actually the most iconic vacuum brand over in the UK. To such degree, they don't even call them vacuums. They call them Hoovers. Regardless of the actual brand. Speaking of regardless of the actual brand, we almost spent $30 on a used vacuum, but it was a really nice Dyson, and it seemed to work well, but it was missing the hose that let you use all the attachments, and I said, you know, I'd have to order the hose, who knows how much it would be, and then I'd have to wait on it, and then maybe find out that it didn't work as well as I thought, and I wouldn't be able to return it, so I just said, no, I'll take this one because I know it works. Yeah. And then I found out how much the hose would cost. Oh, did you? Yeah. It would turn 30 in the 90. Mm. Yeah, it's $59.99. That's before tax and shipping. So, yeah, we made the right choice. It's a nice little vacuum. It really sucks. But I'm bummed. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because that's what vacuums do? Yes, they got it. Yeah, they got it, They're used to your mother being punny. Anyway, I'm not seeing anything else coming up. At least we're not hopping three times after being punny. Get it? Punny hop. Do, 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 hop, do, hop, do. hop. <laughs> and Kissy Fur just come up with another cringer. He must be a dad. He's telling dad jokes. <laughs> I'm not dad yet. You better not be. Why? I kick your ass. She blasts his ass from here to Pakistan. At least. <laughs> and back again, too. <laughs> yeah. Watch. By the time we 
by the time we start wrapping up, we'll see that Sheets is open, and then it's one plan of Mom's delayed by that stop. I wonder if it'll be open. Owner two. What's our time look like, Ben? Over 15. Uh, did we go over 15 minutes? Yeah. Well, I hope you guys were in the mood for a long video today. Mm -hmm. We lost track of the time. A long, chatty video. So what else is going on, heathens? Not much. I've run out of things. Well, you're not even trying. I reckon that's about it. We could go ahead and wrap our video up since we're already over. Alrighty, let's do that. What do you say, Chris? Yep. Yep. Let me put my window up. Okay, thank you for joining us, and I hope your Monday is going great. You know, and just have fun and wear your masks and get the immunization as soon as you can. And take care of yourselves, okay? We'll talk to you Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.